Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and I'm here to show you one of my favorite stitches that I've been working with a lot and designing with a lot. It is the yarn over slip stitch. It's also called the half double slip stitch, but I do prefer the yarn over slip stitch better. Let me show you the stitch. The stitch creates a horizontal ribbing when worked in the back loop only and I think it really looks like a knit stitch. The stitch has a good amount of stretch and it looks like you knit purled, knit purled using a knitting technique. My favorite place to use this stitch is for the brim of a hat. You can work the stitch up first and then work along the side of the stitch to create the body of the hat. And I just really think it looks very nice that way. Another example I have of this stitch is in a very bulky yarn. I'm working on a blanket pattern that I'm super excited about and it looks really beautiful. It looks really knit and I just love it in the big chunky yarn. To go ahead and get started I will grab my hook and my yarn. I'm using a Clover Armoire hook size H and a worsted weight yarn called Chic Sheep. To make our slip knot Go ahead and wrap our yarn around, pull the first loop down and the second loop all the way off your fingers. We'll go ahead and slip in our hook. With this stitch you can chain as many as you want, but for this example I'm going to chain 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, my yarn out of the way, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, just one more for my turning chain. To work this stitch, you can work it normally, but in order to get this really nice ribbed effect, we're going to be working into the back loop only, but you can work this through both loops if you didn't want to have a ribbed texture. So working into the back loop only, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the second chain from my hook, yarn over again, and then at this point I'm going to pull the first loop through the second and the third loop on the hook to create a slip stitch. This is considered a slip stitch because I did not yarn over after pulling up a loop. So let's try again. Let's yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then pull the first loop through the second and the third loop on the hook to create another stitch. We'll just go ahead and keep doing this through the first row and then I'll turn it and show you what it looks like after doing a few rows. When you flip your work over you'll see the V's that we're making along the side of the stitch. This is what's going to give us that knit look. And we're going to go ahead and finish up this row and get back to you when we start our second row. Now to start our second row we're just going to finish the stitch. We're going to chain one to move up to the next row, turn our work, and again we're going to be working into the back loop of the next stitch. We'll go ahead and yarn over again, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and pull the first loop through all the other loops on the hook. If I can get it through. <laughs> Go ahead and keep doing this down the row and as you work into the back loops you are going to create that rib stitch. And after you've completed a number of rows this is the product you're going to get when you're done. Again this is one of my favorite stitches. I really love how it creates a nice deep rib and it really does look like a nice knit stitch and makes a great hat brim. So I really hope you liked my stitch tutorial and if you did make sure you subscribe so you can see all my other stitch tutorials and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button.